Hey folks, it's Jerlene and I am live from the Silverado Park <laughs> gym. Please ignore the hair. <laughs> ignore the hair. I just I had to um uh get here quickly to the park and so <laughs> hair is unkept. Um but I am standing in front of the Silverado Park gym. Now if I told y'all I wasn't celebrating until the fence came down. So actually let me let me flip this around. Fence is coming down. I know people are like, OMG, such a waste of taxpayer dollars, right? Well, you know, you don't do things decent in order and you don't, you know, go through a proper process. Things happen, right? So again, I'm here at the Silverado Park Gym. For people who were with me, it's almost been a month now. I began here. I began telling the story here. And if you remember, I actually got really upset. I started crying and I stopped the live. And that was the day they were putting the fence up. So I, um, ooh, ooh. so right now they're cutting it down. They're cutting the fence down. Okay. Um, so for again, for people who have been with me and community as we tell the story you know this is the fence that i walked around this is the fence that community surrounded and the gym um yeah i'm, I'm moving kind of fast but anyway <laughs> so uh folks um job well done community uh job well done for taking a stand um and again you know i'm gonna keep repeating this this was not about this was not about people being anti-homeless. It was about protecting and preserving a resource in the community. Um, it was about uh, being engaged, being respected, being included in a conversation. Uh, there continues to be repeat coming from uh, media that I'm, that I'm sure is being pushed by our local electeds, basically saying, oh, we did not make this decision because of people's fear and fear is not valid people's fear is valid okay and i'm actually gonna go uh i'm gonna go live and have more of a conversation about that because the one thing that people were talking about was the fact that a month and a half ago we lost a, a, a young person lost their life here at this park so people's fear is valid. And if fear was not an issue, why is there police that sits in the park every day, right? Why in this um, proposal to put a winter shelter in the park, they were gonna have 24 hour security. So um, that narrative that is being pushed people, sadly, it is diminishing to community. It's diminishing the community voices. And we really have to be, um, to stand against that and make sure that our voices are heard and that the narrative of the community is heard. And again, I'm, I'm here, Jerlene, Silverado Park. I'm actually sitting on a park bench with my little person. I actually sit on a park bench um, that they're gonna most likely remove because this is was this bench wasn't here before. Um, but again, the roles. So this is the space that was being taken up. So if you could see where the roles of fencing is, this is how much park space was being taken up. You see that all the way? This is what it was on the inside behind the building, okay? And we were being told that there wasn't an impact. Look how big this impact was just on the amount of area that was going to be taken up from the park. So anyway, Jerlene, live from Silverado Park fence has come down and I'll be back to talk about a few other things um, and to uh, I'm not gonna say bring closure to this conversation because the conversation is not just about a winter shelter the conversation is about community engagement the conversation is about a community rallying together the conversation is about making sure that the needs and resources of a community is being provided um, something that's a reality this gym needs to be renovated. The uh, skate park area needs to be renovated. The basketball courts need to be renovated. So those are things that are, are that, that community will be demanding. And um, as well as asking or waiting, or not even waiting, 
uh, pressing on our local government to hurry up and put the uh, playground back at Admiral Kill Park. Anyway, Jerlene live from Silverado Park. I'll see y'all when I see you.